This is my friend James. He's visiting Taiwan from where he lives in Japan, and I had a challenge for him. So, welcome to Taiwan. Hey, yeah, it's good to be here. So we're gonna see if you can make it all the way back to your hotel in Taichung by yourself without my help using no Chinese. I can do that. I can't speak Chinese. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's try it out. All right. I was just saying, like, off camera, that I think this won't be too, too hard since a lot of people in Taiwan speak English. And if they don't speak English, there's a very strong chance they'll speak Japanese. So if I can need any help, don't ask you. I'm giving you the worst <laughs> welcome onto this island as I possibly can. You came to meet me from the airport to film me struggle. Yeah. For this challenge, James can use any mode of transportation he likes to get to his hotel in Taichung City from the airport in Taoyuan. But because he doesn't know how to speak Chinese, he can only use the two languages he knows how to speak, English and Japanese. And this is going to test two things. It's going to test the English ability of the general public here in Taiwan, and just how easy it is for tourists to get around. So let's see how he does. I'm going to go for the high speed rail, I guess. I guess so. Lucky everything's written in English too. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. Yeah, there's no guesswork. And even though, like, you've got things written in Chinese, and obviously Japanese share some characters, they are not at all alike. Like, they're, they're, their meanings are different, the order's different, so it's not, it's not giving me a whole lot of clues either. But Terminal 1, there it is. Yeah, just gives you any. Big English letters, happy <laughs> days. <laughs> so, like, machines, t ticket machines? Or talk to a person. I'm going to assume that we go to Taipei first and then we jut off down to Taichung. I think. I think. That's what I'm going to try. I'm going to talk to a person because I've got no idea. So I'm going to go to this information booth. Right. Hello. Hello. Sorry. I, I need to get to Taichung. Taichung? Yeah. Uh, Maybe you need to transfer to the high speed rail. Oh, yes, please. From airport to high speed rail. Yeah. And get the NRT ticket first, 25. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then at the high speed rail station, I can buy the ticket there. Yeah, yeah. yeah transfer high speed rail. Okay, okay, cool. So, all right, 25. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Token, touch the bag. Oh, okay. Yeah, and keep the token. Thank you very much. Oh, keep it. Okay, yeah, thank you. I actually didn't know you could buy tickets there. You're gonna wait for me to fail. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at me. <laughs> Make a mockery of this dumb foreigner. That was uh, kind of intimidating. <laughs> I first one to the gate. I also didn't know that you scan the token. I thought you would put it in like a slot. Oh. Because of the shape. Yeah. It does. It does look that way. They're cool though. They're nice. I like. Them. All right. Uh. Okay. Gotta get to the eight. Platform one and two. Platform one and two. It's all the same platform. We're going to Taipei. I should have paid more attention. I'm hoping there's going to be a map down here. Oh, okay. There you go. It's on that sign in English. Plain as day. Taoyuan HSR station. How was my pronunciation? Taoyuan. Bang on. Taoyuan, Ta Ta right? Ta so far, I can definitely say this is way more foreigner friendly or tourist friendly than Japan. This is like pretty easy to follow. So far, I've just walk from one sign to the next. It's not been too bad. I definitely think uh, Japan's airports are a touch more intimidating. People might disagree, but um, this has been pretty simple so far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying. I thought I was going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Quick trip. Uh, I'm just going to go to this ticket place and talk to people because I'm not confident enough to use the machine. And they speak great English. That lady's English at that ticket counter was amazing. Yeah, it was really good, yeah. I like to go to Taichung. Taichung for two person? Um, Taichung for two people? Two people, please. Okay. Can choose the Thai to Taichung station. Departure Thai. 
Um, should we just take the earliest train? Did you say 9.34? Oh, 9.34. Okay. So you're on pay separate or...? Oh, uh, they're together, it's fine. Together, okay, thank you. This conference departure time is 9.34 to Taichung Station, 2 person, for is this is reserve seat. Okay, thank you very much. That's why. Reserve. Yes, reserve, yeah, no, okay. normal, standard seat. Okay. okay. 2 person is $1,080. Okay, okay, thank you. You, you can no, pay down the screen. Yeah. Okay, thank you. 9.34 to Taichung Station, platform 1 for body, platform 1. Platform 1. Yes. Thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So this is HR Station. I guess we'll go this way. Looking forward to this Taiwanese 7-Eleven experience. I'm sure everybody knows 7-Eleven is quite, quite popular in Japan as well. So I want to see how they differ. Oh, yeah. Forty-two. Yeah, uh, yeah, two black American. Hot ice. Um, hot, hot. One Thank you. That's crazy. Without even skipping a beat. Thank you very much. Thank you. No waiting. She just knew exactly what you wanted. Yeah. This is kind of what I meant. I was like, I wanted to buy you things from Japan, but then you come here and they do have a lot of things that are in Japan. This is kind of interesting, they make it for you. How do they do it in Japan? There's a machine, and they just give you a cup. And you go to really? The machine. Yeah. They don't make it for you? No, they don't make it for you. Yeah, you go to the machine and make it yourself. Look at the service. I'm not used to this. I didn't know that. Yeah. Jeez, I would have been like, I would have walked into a Japanese 7 and be like, what's my <laughs> what's goddamn <laughs> copy? Just like <laughs> get off your asses, cup. yeah. And they wouldn't have the English to explain it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's platform one southbound. As the lady so nicely told me earlier. Go enjoy my made for me 7 Eleven coffee. I'm still impressed about it. Yeah, in Japan they don't make the coffee for you. So use a machine and make it yourself. Great. Look at this service. That's ridiculous. I thought Japan was known for its like high quality of service. They don't even make your coffee? No, they just give you an empty cup these days and you go to the machine. Are there any escalator rules? Like any, any side to stand? In Taipei, you yeah. should stand on the right. Okay. In the rest of Taiwan, so, no one cares. <laughs> you stand wherever you like. <laughs> We're at 10. <laughs> well, glad we got here early. Yeah. <laughs> Take half an hour to get there. I'm going to assume that we get in this line. So, how does this train look compared to a Japanese bullet train? Very similar. Really, yeah. really similar. Yeah, yeah. Very much like the train I got from, uh, got from where I live to Tokyo to come here. Really similar, in fact. So far, James has gotten us all the way to Taichung by himself with very little trouble. But now he has to face something a little bit more complicated. Taiwanese trash. Okay. Um. Alright, so I'm gonna put the cup and the sleeve in here. I'm gonna put the plastic in here. I think I did Pretty that sure right. That was, that was recyclable. No, I'm doing it. Get to keep this forever. Uh, yeah. Made it to Taijiang, which was surprisingly easy. Um, everybody spoke fantastic English, and it was not difficult at all. I suppose the only next thing now is where do I go from the HSR station? Yeah, I suppose to the center of Taijiang. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm going to look on the board and, and see what's happening. Um, Prozzi's not helping me out, so. <laughs> <laughs> look for MRT. Ah, there's a sign for the MRT over yonder. You can see a Japanese restaurant down there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing you'll notice about Taiwan is that they love just about anything Japanese. And sushi? I haven't left Japan. <laughs> I haven't left Japan. 
there's a lot of there's a lot of Japanese stuff like ramen, sushi, otoya. Mr. What? Donut? I'm not sure if that's even Japanese, but we got a whole lot of Mr. Donuts too. Everybody I've interacted with so far has had amazing English. It really, from anybody like from ticket staff to the lady at 7 Eleven when we bought our coffee, so straight away English, like turn on a dime, like straight into English, no problem. I'm really impressed. You struggle to get that in parts of Tokyo. Yeah, so far, communicating has been zero problem. Asking questions has been zero problem. In the, uh, in the train station, I didn't know that I had to, uh, from the airport, transfer to the HSR, and the lady explained that perfectly. Like, I, I wasn't left under any confusion. It's great. I'm gonna just touch single journey tickets. Now then. I'm gonna assume this is a bit like Japan, in which case I'd want to press 40, because that's a $40, a $40 ride. There you go, 50. Another cool little token. I'm like, equally like impressed that you did that without hitting the English button. There's an English button? There's an English button on the bottom and you did that whole thing in Chinese. Oh, whoa, okay, cool. I'm pretty happy with myself. But it was like, it's, it's pretty, uh, Intuitive, pretty right? straightforward, yeah. Nice. Right. We're gonna, we gotta get on this thing. Oh. Run. <laughs> So far, you're finding it fairly easy. Very, very easy. Very, very easy. Yeah. Just, uh, just noting that. Yeah, these, they're quite low down. They're quite low down. But I'm quite tall. So, the thing I've noticed. Really colourful trains. All the seats are really colourful. Um, okay, that's different. People, oh yeah, they want Japan fucking wait. <laughs> they normally wait. I don't know what her deal was. All right, man. You made it. Right. Did All by it. your lonesome. Yeah. Fairly easy. Really easy. Really. Yeah. No trouble at all. Um, what were some of the major differences you would notice between traveling around Japan and Taiwan? We were on the uh, we were on the Shinkansen or the, the HSR here, and yeah, there was a little lady carrying a little cart around, taking the rubbish from people, which I thought was like that's great, isn't it? Super convenient. That's, that's loads of service. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was definitely different. Um, also, as well, just the amount of Wi-Fi. Just like, there's Wi-Fi everywhere. Wi-Fi on the trains. Wi-Fi here. Wi-Fi there. Like you could get by here without a SIM card. Easy. There just seems to be Wi-Fi aplenty, which is not as easy to do in Japan. There is, of course, Wi-Fi in Japan, but here it's just literally step off the plane connect to a network and boom, you're, you're good. Did you notice that for this entire trip, we didn't go outside one time. We spent the entire time inside, which I found kind of interesting. But there you have it. Getting around Taiwan is ridiculously easy. You should definitely learn some Chinese if you're visiting because not everybody speaks English, but as you can see, enough do. Stay tuned next week because James and I are going to eat some Taiwanese food and he's going to experience a lot more here. So stay tuned for that. Stay positive, keep your stick on the ice, and I'll see you guys next week for another video.